there's Bug. Welcome back guys to another day and it's a Bug's Life. On today's video we're doing, we're finishing up the fender trimming, the final cut. Now if you've been following me on Instagram, you would already know that we already had all this finished up. You'd know that I was in the CrossFit uh, competition yesterday and did great. And you'd also already know that we have a new member of our family, a 1993 uh, Cherokee XJ, the Sport Edition. Uh, I want to introduce you to her today, but we're also going to show you how Boo worked really hard on finishing up our fender trimming. Um, and it really just came together real nice. We're excited to show you how we did it. Awesome. And you got second place in your CrossFit Games. Super place. proud of her. That's uh, the finished product there. And we use that 3M. Let's walk down here, see if we can see. Oh, there you go. And the opening's turned out just right. I know the sun is, is really sunny in Washington today. There we go. And of course the new mud tires on her. So it turned out just right, huh, Bug? It did. It turned out better than I thought it would. Yeah, I, really good. Yeah. So there she is. And then Buggy, why don't you lead us over to the, the new family member? Come check out a 93XJ. All right. <clears throat> So, we will be doing a walk around on that. Yeah. Coming up soon, but I tell you, she was quite a find through Marketplace. And now, this is for our 16 year old daughter. And we're excited for her to uh, hit the trails with us. Um, it's already trail ready, it's already got the Milestar Patagonia tires on it. So, we, uh, we're excited to, to take her on the trails, and we'll give you a walk around on it uh, in a few days. Yeah, all the details. We'll just give you a quick sneak peek of her. There she is. All right, and there's the bug. All right, honey. I love my buggy. I love my buggy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this line right here. I know a lot of people say cut up here because you'll cut when you get bigger tires. Um, but I think we're actually going to try it on this line first and then that way we'll have a little flare like the back and then we'll have this body molding like this and then it's going to transition down and it's going to go out on this body line like this and then it's going to stay out and come down. We're going to cut right past this last bolt hole and that'll open us up quite a bit. Like your bandana. Thanks bud. All right, let's get some light in this show. How's that? All right, let's safety glasses. Proud of you. All right. The people have spoken. They want the you to wear. Spoken. We all want you yes. to wear safety glasses. Here we go. Here goes nothing. You got this, babe. Good. Oh, that's hot as a <laughs> Yeah, that's dangerous, boy. This thing's spinning at 14,000 RPMs. Baby, you did it. Okay, so this new um, diamond tip blade was definitely, I mean, highly recommend that. It went through like butter. However, um, this being a Metabo, um, which we used to use these on like pipe fitting jobs, um, but a lot of job sites, they actually got banned, um, because of their revolutions per minute. They are, they are so fast. 
Um, I can't remember, they're 14 or 16,000 revolutions per minute. They're wicked. And if it starts, it did get away from me a couple times. So I'm just, I'm not comfortable with the bug using this just in case it got away from her and went down into her leg or something. I mean, I already, you know, I'm lucky that I did not go deeper than my knuckle um, this time. But so bug will be behind the camera. She'll come in and out, but just in case you guys want to know where the bug is, I do not feel comfortable with her using this tool today. Thank you, baby. Oh. I love the bug. Thanks, so baby. now she's going to get me some medical attention for, God's sake, look at that thing. I mean, just it's skin gone. Skin, right? yeah, it's not really like bleeding. No, it's just down to the fat again. Look at that. Right down to it. Right to my knuckle. Not to the knuckle, but the fat on it. Wow. Cut. Got to get some medical attention. <laughs> so, ah, it turned out good. We cut it right on that line and then followed it down this line. And now we're going to just clean her up a little bit. Um, got a safety glasses and... Doctored up? We're going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> some more digits. So, go ahead and just push your hand up against it. Yeah, if we need to, we will pound and and push that one seam over. I just don't know if we're gonna have to right now, but we'll check it out, right? Yeah. So now it's time to P-O-R. Yeah, I mean, we can cut the other side first and then P-O-R. You did great. Thanks, honey. That turned out really good. It did. We gave ourselves quite a bit more wheel wall opening. We really did. We done did good, buggy. Baby, you kicked ass. <laughs> oh, I was saying prayers constantly. Were you? Yes. Just please don't let the boo get hurt. Please. Please don't let the boo get hurt. Is that what you're please, saying? Yes. Please don't let the boo get hurt. I was like, you know, accidents happen all the time with power tools, but please don't let it be today right. with my boo. You know, love we haven't it. had a lot of time to work together on this Jeep lately with hikes and right. CrossFit. And yeah. I was like, let this just be a good. Successful day. A good successful day. And so far, so yeah, we got the hard part is done. Son. Hard part's done. Yeah. Can't do too much damage with POR and the tape and 3M tape. Yeah, I mean, the only thing we do with the 3M tape is just mess it up, and that ain't a big deal. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is all clean, honey. Yeah. Okay, you do that part. Yep. Okay. Okay. Just. I like the soul. Okay, that is fun. Okay. Got it. It's right there. Yep. Okay. Dang, baby, that looks good. Hey, okay, look at that. Wraps around the bottom, up in that molding. Look at her. She looks fantastic, doesn't it? She looks awesome. That looks good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard working man right there. Thanks, Tell you what, you got to give props to to Dirk, right? Right. I mean, he really, he was right about full, having it go around that when it's warm. Look at that. That's perfect. Yeah, Dirk with DPG Off-Road. Watch his fender trim in one and I guess ours, but he's the one that trimmed us in. He sold us this. Um, 3M body molding and told us just to mold it, you know, just keep working around these corners and sure as crap, he's right, it works perfect. Worked great. Yep. All right, we're gonna throw a wheel and tire on there and see what kind of clearance we got, huh? That's my hair all crazy. Yes. All right. Oh man, I cannot believe we're done. We did it. Baby, we did it. Yeah. Baby, you. I mean, it got a little crazy there, a little scary, but... It did, with the Matava, but, <clears throat> but here we are. We got our center caps in. We got our center of our wheels ground out. Fluid filmed. Fenders trimmed. Got our 3M. Um, I don't know, it's body molding around the new cut fenders. Bugs putting on our, our last wheel and tire. Now, the only issue is 
we may not be able to get the garage. <laughs> Using that 3M product around, and it just gave us a perfect opening for our new tires. Didn't it bug? It did, babe. All right, let's wrench them on there. You ready? It's a bug out. Bug out! Guys, this is so crappy. I'm stuck in my own front yard right now. If only I could get Jeep number three here. Oh, what's this? Hey, I'm stuck. What was that? I'm stuck here. You need some recovery? I do. Can you pull me out? Hey, well, we got to ask Matt. Is this enough yellow for Jeep number three? I love <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you out, buddy. Thanks. Yeah.